Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. I'm I'm so excited to watch this show now. <laughs> I've been dying for the last few days just to watch that it. That last one was crazy. So much shit. We still disagree about Armin, but we'll get to that. Well, we agree and disagree because I think he is d dead right now, I think. But I'm not ruling out that there's something maybe he could be the one, like... Can one you do that after... Like you, you're dead though. I don't know that you can. That that that's why I don't know. That's why I think he might be on the brink. I don't think he's dead. Yeah, but the way Aaron Aaron was like sitting by his body for a while, like talking as if like he like sacrificed himself, like he was dead. Yeah, well he thinks that he's definitely unconscious. Well, I feel like Aaron would be able to tell if he was actually dead. I mean, dude, he was burnt to a crisp. Yeah. I know he was pretty messed up. The only reason is because sp going into it, he specifically said like. What do you say? I'm not. No, all he said was. I'm gonna no... let go, like right before, like I won't be able to well, hold yeah. on, like till the end, like it's I... not time to go. The way I interpreted that though was he was saying all that just to ease Aaron's mind. Yeah, and to tell him like you have to stick to the plan if it's gonna work, no matter what. Even if you see me in a dire situation, stick to the plan. That's the only way it works. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. I think Armin knew in the back of his mind, he's like, I'm, there's a, probably a good chance I'm going to die here. I don't know. Because, dude, when it was happening, when I was rewatching it, like, you could see his skin, like, melting off. I know. His ring, or whatever he, he had on, melted off. So he had I know he's melted. definitely, definitely really fucked up. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're not arguing with that. I'm just saying, I don't think he's dead. That's it. You're not going to convince me otherwise. I'm an optimist. You're a pessimist. Okay. Well, that's a fact, but <laughs> I'm a pessimist only when I watch stuff. I know. Yeah, every time we watch it, you think everybody's going to die. <laughs> it's just because I'm expecting it, so if, I know. I, if it does happen, but I'm like, easy. We me. also, they really make you forget that Irwin's also really messed up. We don't know what his deal is. Well, we just saw him get knocked off the horse, and then that was it. Well, the rocks hit him right in the... Yeah, we haven't seen him since, though. Right. At all. I know. And we uh, is, did Levi go after... I think he was chasing after. But first of all, <laughs> he's the craziest human I've ever seen. I love everything about him. He went through, like, the beast like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. The best was, like, how they, like, right... Was it right before he, like, sliced through his fucking hand? He was, like, had that flashback where Reiner oh, told yeah. him, and he was, like, he was like oh, there's one, just one yeah, yeah. <laughs> Levi Ackerman, or just Levi, like, uh, wake up, Captain Levi. Is that what he was? Captain at the time? Yeah. Watch out for Captain Levi. Just one guy, yeah. He, yeah Two seconds that. later, his whole arm sliced up, his face is sliced up, he's just slicing his goddamn body <laughs> into pieces and just yeah. blew him out the back. And I like how they showed him, like, inside being like, huh? What yeah, what? like, what the hell? Because he tried hardening, and, he's and like, he come on, do it I can't down. even harden in time. No. It was crazy. And then when but he got him out, he, he, sho was... and he shoved the sword in his mouth after I he know. came out. That was, he was... Levi, that was the, probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in TV. <laughs> that, yes. <laughs> By far, probably my favorite scene in, and even if just out of, re I, I haven't even edited that one yet, but like, at least where we are now, when you guys, by the time you guys see this, it'll be out. It will be, yeah. Or close to, yeah. But like, as far as like, just like, us react, I, I remember like, audibly, when he cut him out of there and put the knife in his mouth, I haven't even seen our reaction to it yet, but, like, right. I remember, like, audibly going, oh! Yeah, that was, <laughs> was like, crazy. That was crazy. That whole scene was it super blew my crazy. Mind. That whole scene was, like, the craziest thing for the human side that we've seen in the whole show. Like, they beat everybody. They beat... <laughs> they beat the Colossal also. Yep. <sighs> when but he again, grabbed him out, like, I do think he's then you look at it, and then you have... We, we defeated the Beast... But Erwin's possibly dead. We defeated the Colossal. But Armin's possibly dead. But Armin's dead. possibly dead. <laughs> so it's like, shit. And Levi's chasing that, quad, the one that runs on all fours. We think. I mean, he got I'm pretty sure. Didn't he say that? But the problem is, is he only had those two blades left. And he had to use them on to kill like four or five of the tight yeah. regular ones that were running after him. I wonder who, we need to find out who that guy is too. Yes. Or gal. I want to see how ugly he is normally. Yeah, why he gets like that long snout? Why does he look like that? I don't get it. I, I, that's another thing I want to know eventually. Like, how does it really work? Like, right? Why does, do they? Like, why does why, it? How are they yeah. different? Like, why is it? Maybe it's based off of like an ability or something like that. Or is it I mean? something like where they like, 
for them at least, like it's a like a rite of passage. Like where eventually I'm going to become a Titan. Then you get you can kind of like design your own Titan. Maybe I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. That's that would like a cool be kind of cool. Game. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we need to find out who Zeke is. Yes, I want to know more about him. And then overall, I'm starting to think what's in the basement is not only this all the shit we've been guessing, but like like the, some of the most of the history of what we don't know, but also. It's going to be more of who Aaron's dad really is. Because yeah. we uh, we don't know what his deal is, what happened to him. We have to get his backstory. We're gonna, I think, we'll, I'm hoping, we'll get a full episode of a backstory on, like, dedicated to him. Yeah, because I was thinking the other day, like, there's a good chance that his dad is definitely the same side as Reiner and Berthold and, and Zeke because that's what he was going after, too, ultimately, right? If we think that the coordinate is what he took... The only thing, the only thing that throws a little wrench into that thought, because I was thinking about it, is then why would he then give it to Aaron? I still think it could be just he was trying to hide it. Yeah. So, but if he was on the same side as like Zeke and Bertha, and, and then like, wouldn't you bring it? They, they want to bring it back. Like, wouldn't you? Unless well, they were going to do something. Unless they, maybe I he think was they defected would defected from them too. Because maybe he found out what was going on. What they're planning to do. And maybe that's why when he got either got maybe he got exiled or he true wherever he came from, obviously he did lose his memory. So but he rem the only thing he remembered was that he was a doctor, which is weird. It w is weird. Maybe he was a doctor previously, like wherever he came from. Or was he really from it? Because he they made it seem like he somehow went from living inside the walls to outside the walls and then coming back with no memory. But I'm thinking it's the opposite way, which is he never I don't lived think he would never lived inside the walls. I, yeah, yeah. Right. But either it, it could be either one, I think. But. It could be, yeah. But I don't think he, I don't think he did. Yeah, I'm thinking it's that. Mm -hmm. And we don't know now that we know that you could, if you once you're like turned into a titan, you don't turn back into human until you eat somebody like that. Right. That and that time doesn't matter to, for you. Like you don't age. Yeah. So like he could have potentially like that was pre Aaron, pre everything. So he. Who knows how long right. he was a That's Titan. That's what I'm saying. I want to get. A, I think there's more, way more to him, mm -hmm. which is going to relate to whatever. And then, like, who did he eat to to look like? He's still my favorite looking Titan. I think <laughs> he was so like crisp looking. He <laughs> yeah, was, like, he was awesome. yeah, he was great. Did, did he have a beard? I think he did, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And he just had that square and hair. Yeah, like patchy hair. Yeah. <laughs> but he was like a buff old man. Look. Yep, loved it. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> All right, let's watch it. Okay. You guys want to watch the next episode early? Go check out our Patreon. We have that there as well as full length. Dude. No, uh, it definitely looks dead. <laughs> I told you. What's that? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Eren Yegaka. We knew that was going to be a thing. Hmm. Here we go again. Everyone's making us think that his dad's bad. Is he actually bad? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that just gives me more questions. looks like... I can't believe that. That's unbelievable. <laughs> well, now we know, though, where this episode's going, though. It's going to lead to that scene because he, he, the guy looks just like it. Mm. Forgot about it. We haven't seen Ymir in forever. Let me show us these scenes. It's, it's going to come down to a choice. They're going to leave on their arm. Yep, and Levi is going to. That's why he's going to be pissed off at them. Yeah, usually she's the one that's fighting this. Yeah. Hmm. She sees him. Oh, he's going to how the hell is he still breathing? Oh shit! 
Oh, oh good job, Gene. For real. Oh. No. I keep getting like so nervous that someone's gonna get taken I know. out. I hate this. Yep. Nice no, bringing Arwen. I told you he was gonna find him when he walked around. Oh, poor Levi's gotta make this call. So, yeah. I get I, I, I get it, you know? Yeah, there it is. Yep. It is, uh, like I said, it is the right call. I hate saying it. Yeah, when you think about it, though, without Armin, Erwin wouldn't have had a lot of these plans. So I do get what Aaron's saying. <laughs> I didn't see him going there with that. Right. I guess that would change your opinion, though. She didn't kill him. Yep. Oh, thank God, Hanji showed up. Mm. I get it. I get both sides. It's unbelievable. That's that's, that's the, the deciding right factor. There. Yep. <coughs> I wish Erwin could speak right now somehow, because I have a feeling he would say, "Give it to Armin." I think so too. That's how she got saved. Right into a well. This episode is really depressing. I don't like this episode. It's giving me anxiety. I know. Depression. Like it's crazy. Like mm. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that I have. not bigger that or want to wake up. I, I really hope so. That's right. He overheard that Armin saying the stuff. Yes. What? He's talking. He's like in a blackout. Yeah. He raised his hand, that's why, that's what he just did. He said goodbye there. Yep. Armin's getting it. Yep. Dubai. Arigato. Sucks, because you know it's his best friend, too. Well, remember, it started with the maiden. I don't know if you could call him his best friend. No, he but he respects like, them. Yes, but I, a, but I do think they have become, close, e even yeah. if they won't admit it, they're close, you know. Shit, Armin. <laughs> I love the hair. Bye, Berthold. Damn. Oh. Remember the last speech he gave? Oh, yeah. You're my comrades, but I have no problem oh. killing all of you. Oh, oh my God. That was like the first time they showed him, like, get crushed. Mm. Sure. Humanity needs, like, a good outlook. Yeah. Damn it. Lost a good one there, but this is, this is, so is he the Colossal now? <laughs> I didn't think of that. So 
I'm like really upset that Erwin. We're not gonna get any more of them. At least there's this. This makes me happy. Damn, Armin is ripped. Yeah. They all are. He remember he was when he was yeah. getting burned. Of course they are. They're warriors. Now. Damn. That was a hell of an episode. Wild. A. I was so anxious. Dead right it. about Armin. Told you. <laughs> so anxious for what? What's really funny though is like. Once again, we were both right and both wrong. Yeah, and because... you nailed that they were going to get both of them on the roof at the yeah. same time. Like that, that, was that crazy, I knew man. that that I, it wasn't that I knew it. It was more I had a feeling like. Well, that's like how because like, like, it, that would be so depressing. Like I would never want to have to make that choice. I like the way Levi he ended up making right. it. He was right. It had to be it, like I was going back and forth on it too. Yeah, I was. Yeah, they they were. I think that was on purpose, obviously. But yeah, they were right. Like Irwin had to not care. I mean, for real, that guy was right. He he let he everybody that was in this house, he led them to their death. Yep, and knew it because only because he so badly wanted to know what was in the house. not because he wanted to like save humanity and like see the outer. I world. think at the end though, when he made that final push, that what that was. That, oh, one hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, originally, he wanted to go selfishly. Well, yeah, he admitted it to. Levi but like, once he like, said to Levi, like, "Thank you," like that was him, and Levi realized it. Thank God, and like. Just let him go. And it was interesting, like, in that, like, about to die stupor, like, he, like, the what, what he said was interesting, because he's like, is there is there more people beyond the wall? Like, was that literally something he asked that, back I then? I bet you. That was the question I bet you that he asked I don't remember. his dad. I, I have to go back and watch that scene if they, was that the exact question? I don't know that they ever showed the question that he asked. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. I'd have to go back and look. But that I would have to assume that's the one that he asked his dad that started the whole that started everything. Hmm. I'm so depressed without. That's sad. I just but I look forward to seeing in th the but everyone. like they they there is no more war inside the walls. They took care of everybody. Well, we don't know what else the beast has in store, right? Like he could have. 50 everyone in his village could be a freaking titan for all we know i you know? know so he could bring them back right they could definitely come back but i'm saying the threat right now but yeah it's temporary is, the, is over um but like, also, i feel like they're gonna leave to go after and it's interesting also that we had i forgot because it was towards the beginning but when aaron and the beast were speaking and he oh he yeah clearly, and he knows his dad we, we were talking about that at the beginning of the episode and he de obviously we kind of assume that but like he definitely knows, like knows him well too. And I mean, it's again, it's the where same thing Reese was bad. doing, where they make him seem like he was bad. Like, is like it, you were brainwashed by your dad. It's never easy, like. But like that's what, what's crazy is he wasn't right. No, like well, we don't not, not that we know of. I think he meant like you're brainwashed by thinking your dad was good, when in reality he wasn't. But like that's not really brainwashed. That's just you. That would you would be doomed. I mean, you know what I mean? Like brainwashes well, yeah. you believe a certain thing. Well, he does. I think he does. He's what he about might... the Titans? Maybe I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, what is he? Could he possibly be talking about? Like, why is he choosing to fight against the, the B? I think it's the B saying like the fact that I think he's going that way because he's fighting against me with them. When in reality, he should jump join me, Ryan, Roberto, and all them. You know what I mean? Possible. Yeah, I get, that plays into if he is a defector from that side, then yeah. He could have. You would think he's being brainwashed because he's I going against you. Um, um, the thought I have is that like his dad comes from like wherever they they're from. Maybe he was in charge, and then he left to go That's true. to go could do be. all this, or or like something happened where they probably thought he was doing he was something else, and he was doing this for his own agenda. Maybe I. That's very possible. But there's so much shit we have to know before, like, learn in this process. Why are the walls made out of titans? Well, how, how did that I'm going to be honest. Like, now that, that's what I'm saying. Now the threat is gone. I can't imagine they're not going to the basement. Like, now. Oh, 100%. You know what I mean? It could be the next episode. Mm -hmm. It very well could be. I doubt it. Because they're definitely like teasing Why wouldn't us. it be, though? Because they're like teasing us in this oh, show. Oh, yeah. It'll be something else, you know what I mean? And it'll be like the history well, on like the key. It's got to be a lot with a lot of dialogue with Armin, I think, too. Oh, for sure. It's going to be a lot of dialogue. And then he's going to need a lot of training. And like now, is he he's the Colossal, right? 
just the colossal with the blonde hair. Yeah, that might be fun. I, I would imagine, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should change how he looks a little bit. So now, like, he looked the way he looked, just like himself, for the most part. And now, once he ate him, he goes back to human form. Now, next time he goes into Titan form, he should be the Colossal. Right. Theoretically. Or whatever his... I also wonder whatever. if there's ways for them, like, to, like, trigger, like, all right, I want to look like this when I go up. Like, not... But, like, in a small way. Like, I don't... Like, Reiner can come up and go, all right, no armor this time. You know? Maybe. I don't know how that works. I don't think so, though. I don't think so, either. That was crazy. But, like, that other than, episode. like, it's just... That whole decision, once you find out, it's like, all right, once you get to see him, are we going to drag that? You're like, Ugh. And I literally, like you said, I was bouncing back and forth. Every time they were trying to, like, sell the other one, I'm like, no, it should be this one because of this. But I'm obviously what Aaron said, and the fact that Levi was sitting around the corner, I was wondering why they showed him a couple episodes ago. why he was telling him about the sea at all? Well, no, why was Levi, Levi was, like, sitting by himself, like, in a, like an alley, and they were, like, right around the corner yeah. up on the steps. He was just overhearing a conversation. Mm -hmm. And I remember when they did that, I was like, why why they should like focus on Levi just sitting there like that? Like I get he's oh, listening nice. in, but like now it makes sense. Because now when Aaron says that, it just it means more to him because he gets it. Right. That's what I mean. Like, like oh, shit, even Armin besides like that, that, even mentioning the seed of Levi who could be silly. Right. Like you know what I mean? Like, why would Levi care? I really hope they can go see it one day. They're definitely going to see it. That's how the show's ending. The three of them. The three of them sitting at the sea. Like a zoom out of them looking out the, on the beach, just yeah. looking out. <laughs> Possibly even Levi at that time, because Levi and Mikasa will be each other's only true real family. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like obviously Aaron's her family in Armin, but like I mean like her real right. like blood. It's crazy though, because like we only have a few left now in this season. Wait, what? We have like five left, I think. We have twenty two, right? Like twenty four. Or something like that. But something we, like that. We, yeah, have, yeah. we only have a few left, you know? Like, we're close. And then we have season four, which is splitting the two again. But when you think about it, there's not that much. We're going Technically, we're going on to the last season after that. Like yeah. A couple weeks, you know? And there's only 16 in the last one, so it's only eight and eight, I think. Right. So, like, but there's so much we don't know yet. So much. I think, I'm wondering how much, like, once we do, like, get the basement one, like, say, hypothetically, it is the next one, The how much are we going to get from it? Is it? How much is it going to answer? Or is it going to be, like, a... We're gonna. He's gonna learn whatever he learns, and if they're gonna dump a, a thousand little bit. more questions, yeah. <laughs> well, no, they're gonna dump a little couple answers. Oh, and then you'll learn somehow. like periodically what he learns. Yeah, true. Yeah, I don't like. We'll learn like what he's about to read. This show fucks with you because they they'll do that, like shit like that, or and then all of a sudden they'll just give dump you everything yes, on you all yep. at once and just completely explode your brain. I was getting so nervous when the what's his name uh, the beast in the. Other guy, the weird looking one, came out of nowhere. Zeke, yeah. I was like, good. God. That whole episode. That, guy, just, that, like... that uh, weird looking one is the creep, might be one of the creepiest ones I've seen. Up close, his face is fucking crazy. It's like, it's like a half horse face. <laughs> yeah, like, almost. So uh, weird. I wonder, I wonder who he is, too. I wonder if it's somebody we know or not. I don't think so, but it could be. Might be. Hmm. What a show crazy. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.